hi hello welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to see how to create the responsive pricing table using html and css take a look at the final demo in which we can see the pricing title and subtitle below it and here we have a four pricing blocks and each block has a pricing type cost per month and some description and select plan button and when we resize the browser window see how responsive the pricing blocks are and they are getting adapted to the browser size very nicely for code you can visit my github account where you can download the files or clone it let's get started with the html structure first create the wrapper development and inside that we have a title and subtitle below that create the pricing wrapper inside that consider a four pricing items each item has a pricing type cost per month description and a button here this h3 is a pricing type and add the per month content inside the span element and break the price and the per month text by by using the break tag and also add the money class below this add the description finally create the button and it has a btn class and let's repeat the same code for other three blocks here change the type to basic and change the price change to pro and price unlimited now let's open this in a browser now include the styles in the head section of the html structure for this demo i am going to use two google fonts first visit the google font site next search for the allura font family and click on this plus button next search for the Josephine Sands font family and click on this plus button click on this import link and import the font family to the styles next reset the default margin and padding values of all html elements to zero now set the background color to the body and include the josephine sans font family which is a default font family now style the wrapper development set its margin top value to 50 pixels and text align to center line height to 20 pixels line height creates the gap between the lines now style the h1 tag
set the allure of on family to the h1 tag and increase its font uh, font size margin bottom 20 pixels and set the letter spacing to 10 pixels now let's style this p tag which is adjacent to the h1 tag Here this plus symbol represents the adjacent sibling selector. See here this p tag is adjacent to the h1 tag. Now we are styling only this particular p tag. Set its width to 60 percent. Now to place this text horizontally in the center use the margin auto concept now set the margin bottom to this text 50 pixels here this 0 is a margin top and 50 pixels is margin bottom auto is margin left and right and change its color to white now by using flex concept float this four rising items in one row display flex see now we can see the rising items in one row now style the pricing items set its width equals to 200 pixels and change its background color to white and set the margin top to 5 pixels and uh, left and right 10 pixels bottom 50 pixels now place this pricing items in uh, in this uh, in the center by using justify content property and set its value to center now set the padding 30 pixels and 20 pixels Now set the box box shadow here this is a X Y and this is a blur next style this H3 tag increase its font size to 26 pixels now style this money p tag set its margin top 50 pixels and margin bottom 20 pixels left and right 0 and increase the font size to 52 pixels and change its color next decrease this per month text which is inside the span tag font size 
12 pixels and change its color now change the color of the paragraph now style the select plan button which has a built-in class by default the anchor elements are in uh, inline block elements so by using display block make it block element now set the margin top value to 20 pixels set the background color and change its color to white use the text decoration to remove the underlines text decoration and its value to none and set padding to 10 pixels and border radius to 25 pixels see now when we resize the browser window see the pricing items are getting string and they are not responsive to make it responsive set the flex wrap to wrap see now if we resize the browser window see they are getting adapted to the browser size and they are responsive hope you enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe to my channel thank you